And you guys are, are fans and listeners of Two Kims One Pod. Woo! Whoa! Seven people. Yeah, Seven people. yeah, yeah. Are you Patreon? Uh... Yes. Any Patreon members? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're like, we love you, but not uh, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We've got OnlyFans people that we got to support. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> How many people uh, subscribe to OnlyFans? Lies. Liars. <laughs> Look at all these men. Like I'm with my wife. Uh, <laughs> Don't ask about that two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. That's a steal. Um, <laughs> we do comedy and we tour across the country, and we're so excited to be here in Seattle for the first time ever. Yeah, I, I, yes, you are, you've been here before, but never to perform. I've only been here for gay stuff. So uh, I guess I did perform. Uh, <laughs> did you perform well? <laughs> um, they didn't ask me back. So, <laughs> so too well. Um, <laughs> Extinguished, like you, he was dry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no more cum. Yeah. Oh, no, no uh, bodily fluids left. Yes, yes, that's good. You sucked it dry. Yes, I did. Woo! And um, here we are, moisturized. Um, <laughs> but we are two kings, we do comedy together. And uh, one of the segments we love doing on our podcast is called Rock, Rock Hard Tops and Soft, soft Flaccid, flaccid Bottoms. bottoms. Yes, <laughs> hell yeah. So we're gonna do a, 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 a tops and bottoms of the week just to share with you what's going on in our lives. And we're gonna ask you, one of you guys, to share with us if you want. You don't have to, but if you want, we're gonna come to you. So we're gonna show you uh, just an example of what we do on the pod. And, and then maybe if you feel so inclined and inspired to share with us, we'd love to learn a little bit about you. Okay, so uh, you guys ready to get into it? Yeah! Yeah, let's do our tops and bottoms. Um, so my top uh, occurred actually uh, yesterday at our show in Portland. Um, I was approached by a woman <gasps> oh my um, God. This... who I'm pretty sure was asking me to be a third. Um, uh, yeah. 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 She invited me to her wedding in Thailand. Um, yeah. Um, full expenses full paid. Full expenses paid. <laughs> And then uh, showed me uh, her prospective mate. Yes. Uh, he was attractive, as was this woman. And then I guess then she DM'd me later that night saying that she had shown videos of my comedy to this mate and said that they both really liked the vibe, uh, which everyone knows is code for sexy. Yes. <laughs> and so, I mean, honestly, it's been a minute since I've been uh, propositioned in this way. You did say last night that you are a bisexual woman who is married and you hate your husband, so. <laughs> I Don't think, give away my set. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Those are her jokes. Um, no, I'm kidding. You, you, your husband's very lovely and you do love it. But that that's a crazy offer that came in. I mean, isn't that crazy? So this morning she, she shows me her DMs and this a Thai woman, right? She, yeah. she is very beautiful. And she um, slid into her DMs and said, come to my wedding and then sent her like an image of the wedding poster. Yeah, and the invitation, the actual invitation. The actual invitation. And I'm sitting here looking through my DMs, reloading and <laughs> not one to be seen. And like, as, it, as he's refreshing, she's sending more DMs. Yeah. She's like, is that guy still next to you? Can we get rid of him? What's wild is that her friend also sent me a series of DMs. Yes, her friend was more into you than the yeah. Thai girl was. Uh. <laughs> you do well with the crazy girls. I um, do. So if there are any crazy girls out there, I'm she's available. available. <laughs> but yeah, that was definitely my a top. But it's just like, it's really been a minute since I've been propositioned in that way. It makes a lady feel young. You know what I mean? Yeah. You look young. I, it's whatever. Um, uh. <laughs> wait, what's your top? My top. Um, okay, I'm gonna try this again because yesterday Portland did not approve appreciate this, but um, my rock hard top... I didn't appreciate it. You either. hated it. Um, my rock hard top was I flew from LA to uh, PDX and I, for the first time ever I got upgraded <laughs> to first class. Yes. Okay, um, Seattle standing less with the working people <laughs> than Portland did. A bunch of evil tech people. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Like, suck the money out. <laughs> Status. Well, um, Portland was like, ew. They're like, ew. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Like, fuck upgrade, you. Boo. What? What'd you say? Get that upgrade, boo. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was the, 
and now we know what a drunk bitch is. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I think, I guess she was talking to me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess people are going to slide into your DMs. Yeah, uh, well, you know, not my type, but I'll take it. Um, I've been very lonely. Anyway, um, but I will say I did get upgraded to first class, but they did put me in 1B. Oh, my God! What's your name? Daniela? A woman after my own heart. Listen, okay, Seattle's my vibe. Okay, uh... <laughs> All these people are like, yes, this part, specific seat in first class is slightly more uncomfortable. <laughs> not slightly, not slightly. The worst comfort of all the first classes oh is row one. Yeah. Because why? There's a motherfucking wall. <laughs> and people who have naturally long, elegant legs, like myself, you get crammed in. And yesterday I was lamenting this and everyone in Portland was like, Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Have you seen our streets? You know? <laughs> we did, by the way, the first thing we saw when we rolled up into Portland in our rental car. What? Was a woman's full ass. <laughs> As she was urinating, like, hard. <laughs> it wasn't, she wasn't being dainty about it. Okay, listen, we've all been to festivals and we've all been camping, whatever. Like, if, I, I, if you need to pee, and you're a woman, like, yes. you, we've all seen this, right? Like, yeah. you, this you is, do this, and then you... Yeah. Right? You know, and, there's the some, and there's someone standing in front of you, like, yeah. pass, nothing to you see go. here. No, No. This, this woman was actually sort of presenting her butt. Uh, she to, was clear-eyed. And, like, like full hearted And uh, all whole. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she was, it was, it was spewing out of her at a velocity. A spew, a spew. A spew. It was at a velocity that was... Magnetic. Yeah. I, <laughs> we couldn't look like... away. And it was a thick stream. It Let was a thick you, stream. It looked like mustard. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Mustard. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. Uh, also, I gotta you say guys, it. Uh, also, you guys, I am someone that do I don't drink water, so I recognize this pee. She is dehydrated. I'm constantly dehydrated. You so think she's skinny, she's just parched. Charged. I'm like, <laughs> but it's, it literally was, it was thick, that thick, viscous pee. And let me tell you, <laughs> I've never seen anyone, man, woman, or child, yeah. bent over in like a football. It was almost like she was about to get a yes. football and shoot. Urine out onto a marble wall in front of the Walgreens, right by the Powells. Powell's books. <laughs> I mean, like this, an entire city block of literacy, and then mustard piss. Like it was, it was crazy. It was crazy, and, and it wasn't. And uh, no one said anything. Literally, people were walking over her, under her. They were like, no one I'm was so sorry. No one was addressing it. It was fine, um, but. You know, I will say, it was also not short. It was a long pee. <laughs> yeah, it was concerning. And like the Korean mom in me wanted to just be like, get a hold of yourself, you know, but um, the American in me was like, she might kill you. So, yeah. um, so I left it alone, ignore. I left yeah. it alone. So anyway, what was your bottom of the week? My bottom was, uh, so outside of the club that we did in Portland, um, these, this couple walked up to the club, uh, clearly on a date, just thinking, oh, I wonder what comedy is going on in this club this evening. And uh, they walked up and then they walked out immediately. And I was out, I was smoking in front of the club and as they passed, the woman said, well, the thing about live podcasts is it's very hit or miss. And I yelled out, but you know we're mostly doing stand up. And she looked around and went, sorry, no thank you. <laughs> Yeah, well, your mom will come back. Yeah. She, uh, <laughs> she always does. Uh, yeah. That sort of, like, that sort of um, negation, like, to my face was sort of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that a bottom. That, that, was a that was a bottom. bottom. What's your bottom? My bottom is about to happen in maybe, like, 18 minutes because uh, we did eat a, we went to Pike's Place today. Uh, yeah. Uh, and she, what? Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? Pikes. I said Pike's Place. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, it's, it's not possessive. There's no, the, there's no possess. It's no, just, no, no. it's. No, this is Nikes. Yeah. Uh, this is Nikes. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm an immigrant. <laughs> I edit this to everything. 
We are uh, watching stand-up comedies. Okay? Yeah. By the way, don't and uh, none of you rush to the front row because this is for our family. Yeah. Okay? They told us they were coming. Our supportive family will be here. So don't sit there. Yeah. These are these are the chairs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the Texases. <laughs> anyway, we went to Pike's Places and um, stupidly got a bread bowl full of New England clam chowder. I could not stop farting the we second are... we got out of there. I haven't farted once yet, and that's the problem. Yeah. I know, I mean, the thing is, like, Peter, you also went for the bread bowl hard. Bitch, I tore into that bread bowl like I was demolishing a building. And by, by the way, the, the whole meal started by Peter saying, I'm actually not that hungry. I know. <laughs> and, then I, and then I was like, um, can Rip. I? Yeah, truly, I was ripping it out of your hands. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we are uh, uh, classically Asian lactose intolerant. <laughs> you clearly farted it all out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I about know. to make a mess. So... <laughs> That's about to be my bottom coming out of my bottom. <laughs> so now you see uh, what the part of, the, the excellence of this show. So <laughs> the top and bottom of it. Yeah. Does anyone uh, want to talk about their, uh, their tops? Top and you could you can have a top or a bottom, whichever you want. Yeah. Is there anyone feel safe to do it? Yeah. No one feels no, safe. Don't say, okay, good. Um, that's okay. That's okay. No, that's yeah. fine. That's good. Yeah. No, we don't want to get to know you at all. Yeah. Um, no, Daniela, how about you? Do you have a top for us? Now I'm going to pick on you all the time because you and I are soul sisters. <laughs> yeah. My cousin, Peter Kim. That's right. Are you up Kim too? No, obviously. You yeah. are Daniela Kim? Now you know forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Daniela Kim. Yeah. What, what's, yeah. What, what's your address? See your address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are three Kims in a pod. Yes. yes. Are, there any, are there any other Kims here? Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> we got one. We got one. Okay. Oh, one dude Kim. Okay. All right. Kim. And a Jane Kim. Right. May Kim. May Kim. Okay. By marriage. Uh, by marriage. Okay. There's a lot. There's there's too many Kims in one yeah, room. Yeah, there's actually one of you does have to go. Yeah, because once you put more than four Kims in enclosed space, we will fight. Yeah. And, um, it's gonna get toxic, right, Daniela? Is this your husband? Do you uh, attest to that? Have you seen more than four Koreans in one room? Yeah. And, and you you survived. So far. Yeah, yeah, so far. Yeah. I sold you to that, and we're crying at a karaoke. Okay. <laughs> You guys ready to get the show started?